years. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Al in Homosassa. Hey, Al, what's going on? Uh, isn't it wonderful? This gentleman here with the gold report, right before the market fell apart, ended up with PAAS. We had a 98% gain in a year. And, uh, I mean, you weren't 99% proof like Irish whiskey, but we had a good gain there. You always told us to do what we feel comfortable with. And if I lose a little bit of money on the table, I will, but I know that I just pocketed eight or $9,000 in two weeks. That's a beautiful thing, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien at TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, what if you think about, you bring about whatever you hope, focus on, grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Cultivate wisdom. You don't need to accumulate knowledge to become wise. Anyone can become wise. When you become wise, you respect your body, you respect your mind, and you respect your soul. When you become wise, your life is controlled by your heart, not your head. Nugget wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrial's up 704, NASDAQ up 300, S&P's up 98, gold contract flat, 1829 an ounce. You get silver up 12 cents, $21, 21 cents an ounce. Light sweet crude up three bucks, trading at 107.43. Notes and bonds, a 10 year note right now, trading at a, at a price point. Sorry about that, folks. 10 year note trading at a price down 11 ticks at 117.10. 30 year up a full point plus two ticks at 131.01 and King Dollar. King Dollar's down 225 ticks, trading at 104.207. Euro 105, yen 135.26, and the British pound at 122 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877 927 6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you get a bounce going. You get a contraction of volume going. You're coming into the July 4th week, next week. Bottom line, I suspect we're going to run right up, probably up into July 4th. And what you have here is this. So the spies got 58 million shares today. You're up $9.80. And I suspect this is going to, you know, go, probably more than likely go for the bottom of the first gap. Now, the, fir the first gap here is set up at 401.44, and right now you're at 387.87. We go to the NDX 100, we take a look at the NDX 100. What do you have in the NDX 100? Same type of setup. Bottom line, NDX 100 right now up 780. You have 39 million shares. Uh, no, oops. yeah, we have 39 million shares traded right now. Uh, that's going to be a huge contraction also. We did 57 yesterday. Uh, that being said, I suspect this is going to run up into the 299. Right now, you're 292. Now, if you've never seen how the three-gap play works, folks, okay, these are pretty cool, man. Um, I've traded these a lot. So the way a three-gap three play goes is that we had three gaps on the way down, and this is going up to fill them. The way, the first way that the gaps go is the trend. That is basically how it works. So it's going to be really intriguing when we get up into this price point. Um, you know, bottom line, we'll see how it uh, shakes out. I would like to see it into this price point, not until basically uh, July 5th. That's, that's the bottom line. We'll see how this shakes out. But I suspect they're going to get filled, number one, and number two, that you're going to have a contraction of volume all the way up. Gold. Gold contract came out, re rejected lower price again today. We got down to a price point of uh, 18.17. Uh, bottom line right now, it's saying, okay, I don't want to be at 18.17. Uh, and that was a fast gap down. I, said, I suspect you trade the futures. A lot of folks definitely get 
tapped out on that one because the bottom line, it was a, a one-minute wonder that uh, took place at uh, basically 9 o'clock this morning. Uh, it went from a price point of uh, 8.23 to 8.17 and was back to uh, 8.26 literally in a minute. So it is what it is. King Dollar. What do we have with King Dollar? Well, King Dollar basically gave the uh, market a little relief out here today. He's out 215 ticks. That being said, you know, bottom line, this is actually a uh, sideways move in King Dollar. That's what you have out here. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities. Is this will? So what will end up happening is this. The yeah, volume should come in. We have a rebalancing in the small caps today at, at, at uh, 4 o'clock. So the small caps are going to have explosion of volume. We'll see what it, what it does to the S&P uh, and to the NASDAQ. Right now, you have uh, Advanced Micro is up $4. You get, uh, let's see, NVIDIA is up 6 and a half. You get uh, Wells Fargo up 2, two and a half. Tesla's up 26. Let's get inside the uh, Dow Industrials. And take a look at where the strength lies. I suspect they're almost all green. You know, the only one red is Verizon and United Health. So we take a look at point wise what you have out here inside the Dow Industrials. You get you Goldman Sachs is putting 102 points. You get uh, Salesforce putting 78, Boeing 40, 48, uh, Visa 47. Uh, United Health's the only one really taking 59 points away from it. We go into the NDX 100. We take a look at the NDX. What do you have with the NDX? You got Airbnb up 8.4%. Uh, Facebook is up 5.8%. And you got Workday up 5.6%. Uh, taken away from it. Uh, you got Lucid down 1%. Uh, other than that, man, you are off to the races because that's very unusual when you actually take a look at uh, something like that. Let's go to Freeport Mac Moran for a couple of the Tigers, FCX. And to take a look at Freeport Mac Moran. Um, you know, we'll see whether they can get a bounce out of here. Uh, I don't think this, uh, well, let's, let me see. Well, it's, Freeport came down hard. You're going to have volume, 138 million versus 106. Well, if you can get this, if we can get this rejection of uh, $29.97 by the end of today, you might have something. It's close, man. It's a close call. Because this is a lot of volume, uh, the way this came down. There's no doubt about it. Let me just see. That swing had 125, 114, 106. Yeah, this is not good. Okay, so here. This is, this is an ABC structure down. You got $51. This is not good. Yeah, 33. 17, 18 bucks. You got uh, 43, 33, 23. That's 26 bucks, man. Where's 26 bucks? Yeah, I'd be really careful with Freeport Mac Moran because what you have here is that we definitely broke this B point this week, and on the weekly, it's going to have higher volume. It needed volume more than 125 million, and we got, oh, no, 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 okay, we don't have it. That's good. One second. Now we get 106 million. Oh, yeah, but no, you know what? It's a four day work week. We do. This is an ABC structure down. Because you take it, you're at 125, bottom line, you already got 100 and six you add 25 to that that's 126 versus 125 so uh i'd be careful with that that's for sure our phone number is 877-927-6648 we have the dow industrials right now trading up uh, 691 you get the nasdaq up 292 you get the s p's up uh 96 that is a percentage move folks would you have 2.2 percent in the dow industrials 2.5 in the nasdaq at 2.5 in the S&P. Stay right there, folks. Best of Tom O'Brien will come right back. In a time of booming inflation, where your purchasing power is eroded, there's no better place to protect your hard-earned money than in gold. Vista Gold's flagship asset is the Mount Todd Gold Project in the Northern Territory of Australia. This is Australia's largest undeveloped gold project. We are talking a world-class gold project in a tier one mining district. This is a large scale, low cost project with significant existing infrastructure in a politically safe and friendly mining jurisdiction. Vista Gold just completed the Mount Todd feasibility study, which resulted in a 7 million ounce gold reserve in a 16 year mine life. All of this combined with the approvals of all major operational as well as environmental permits. This distinguishes Mount Todd as an attractive, dearest partner 
Ready Development Stage Gold Project. Vista Gold trades on the New York Stock Exchange under the symbol VGZ. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, best of Healy, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 714. Nasdaq's up 304. S&P's up 99. And we get a bounce going, man. Yeah, it's coming back up, huh? In a big way. There's no it's, doubt. It's, it's, it's wild. It's, it's... So best and I, we talk about the market every day, folks, okay? <laughs> Meaning the stock market and the real estate market. And it's so funny because, well, it's funny to, in, in the context of explaining our communications you know up until basically january yeah i would go we have a picture we have we have the second floor and the fifth floor here so i would i would the, all the studios are in the second floor and our office is in the fifth floor so i would come upstairs and i'd look at bestford and he'd say to me we're up again right <laughs> <laughs> it just kept going up just up, kept right going up, up man it's like why and, is it going up and then, so picture this folks as it starts going down he says to me, well, why is it going down? <laughs> yeah, right? I mean, I'm just trying to understand because, you know, obviously I'm not that big into the market. Listen, no one ever, the thing that's amazing about the marketplace, okay, we're all speculating is whether it goes up or down. Uh, it, it, that's the that's the reality. Yeah. That is absolutely a reality. Yeah, okay, when there's more selling that goes down, when there's more buying that goes up. But that's a reality. So yeah, like, I'm just trying to like picture okay why did it go up I, what, what I, is the news and yeah. why did this news make it right. go up or down but uh, right. it's, just, uh, it's wild yeah yeah so you know on fridays folks we're, we're talking about the real estate market and so we have quite a story right now i'm telling you because uh we listed a house last night beautiful house extraordinary house no doubt um 2.65 million yep. right and it went live at six o'clock last night and we just got a cash bid, and it, they want to close Ju July 5th, right? July 5th, yeah. July 5th. So the real kicker here is, you know, we, it's going to be intriguing to see that, okay. And, well, that's, that's one side of it. Now, the other side that you had been talking about, this other house we have listed, we had to go down on price, and we still haven't got a call. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So, and that house there, that is like what seven hundred, seven seventy. Yeah, right? closer, closer to eight. Yeah. 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 So the real, it's going to be intriguing here as we move forward. Um, is, you know, is that big money still out there? 
Well, we know it's still out there because they had to send us proof of funds, and the, <laughs> the proof of funds were pretty incredible. <laughs> there's no doubt about yeah, that. That, that was big money. Yeah. It was huge money. And yeah, so I, I guess there's still some big, uh, big players out there still trying to buy. So yeah, this is always good feedback, especially when when we're out there. And no, it is on it the is. ground. It, it makes seeing it, what's happening. It makes a huge difference. Yeah, there's no, there's no doubt. And you know, yeah, hey, we'll find out, man. Well, then. you know, we we have. Uh, few friends they're right. always reading these articles right. you know and then it's always these gurus talking about the real estate market and I'm right. like listen man nobody really knows right you know right. nobody's going to say hey this is what's going to happen in the next few months right right because nobody knows no I, there's no doubt there's no doubt <laughs> and i i guess one of the biggest questions really have to do with folks is that if you have to go out and borrow the money that's one thing but yeah. if you don't then even in inflation, you know, I was talking about the aspect yesterday, if, you know, if inflation is running 10, 12 percent, well, every hundred thousand dollars you have, you're losing 10 to 12 thousand a year. That's crazy. So I could definitely see the types of buyers that have that much cash and say, hold it, man, I got to put something in a hard asset. Even if it goes down a little, I know how much it's going to go down well, in inflation. Well, this guy yeah. or this couple, right. uh, they're going to be in Orlando for the next few years. Okay. So they're not even coming here. They're not even coming. They bought the place. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So... so that, uh, yeah, so it's real possible that what we may start seeing is that type of larger money just storing it away in larger properties. Yeah, real estate and, you know, something that uh, yeah. you can touch. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Prime locations. Yeah, and this is a prime location, there's no yeah. doubt. And it's still, well, it's 850 bucks a foot. That's what we're getting, right? Yeah. Yeah, which is, which, which is, you know, a good number, but that's very... Not inexpensive, but for other major cities, you know, they yeah. can go for a lot more than that. Yeah, well, I mean, South Boston is still going a thousand, eleven hundred bucks a foot. That's that's crazy to me. But, so listen to this. I was talking about South Boston a couple of days ago, folks. A triple decker I had. So there's a piece of land because I keep up with the Boston real estate market. There's a piece of land right now. I showed it to you, right? Um, and they're going to sell it. It's going to go. Uh, Thirty-five hundred square feet for two point one million dollars, and it's on West Ninth Street. If you know anything about Boston, folks, so when we were growing up in South Boston, we, I was from the east side, and we thought we were always better than the like, people on the west side. <laughs> That's what I'm glad, man. <laughs> I mean, you know, you you're, you're all have nothing, and you think, ah, we're better. Yeah, you, know, yeah. you guys live yeah, on the west side. We're better than you. No, huh? totally. Yeah. <laughs> and the ironic part about it is that what ended up happening is that the west side actually end up being worth more money because what happened the west side was actually closer to downtown uh -huh. it's all it's it's around the same but it turned into a beautiful neighborhood because there were so many old houses you just knock them all down it, it really turned into it yeah know I mean? well we know every block makes a difference here every so. block makes a difference there's, so, there's no doubt the, about the, that the closer you are the better right yeah yeah it's it's, it's pretty well so we'll see so the market today vested is you know depending on what side of the coin you're on, you know, you hear analysts out there, oh, no, no, this is, this is, this might be it. You know, this might be the bottom. And it's like, okay, well, you know, uh, the news stories that are coming across is that, okay, things might not be as bad. Well, here, let me show you. What happened, uh, folks, is that, you know, even, to me, this is just kind of trend bounce, it's a normal bounce. Um, but what you did have out here today is uh, Bullard, who, uh, one of the Fed chair, uh, governors, okay, that was always a real hawk. And he's claiming that, hey, you don't have anything to worry about. You're, everyone's overblowing the aspect that there's going to be a recession, you know. So we're going to be filtering all of this, folks, in the next three or four months. Um, the thing that's going to be really cool about where we are right now is that what seems to happen is that when you get close to 4th of July, markets like to run higher oh, into 4th of July. I and I said, that's what I expect, you know, is going to happen. Now, as one of our Tigers said, which is, you know, right on, he says, hey, man, <laughs> if everyone thinks that the market's going to run to July 4th, it's not. Yeah. When, when there's too, we all know how this goes, folks. When there's too many people on the one side of the, the train, you know, the bottom line. But I suspect the way this is laid out right now, you know, you're going to, we have the rebalancing of the small caps today. And what the rebalancing does is this. It, the rebalancing gives large funds and indices a chance to get out of stocks they're in without destroying the integrity of the price. So this, this is at the close. All these big funds are going to throw buys and sells in. 
and it will stay pretty close to the prices. That's what, that's what ends up happening. And that's what rebalancing actually does, folks. So the real question is going to be next week, how do we go higher? Are we, do we, are we going higher and the contraction of volume is still there, if that's what it is? Um, and, and to get to my point, my point would be if, in fact, this is building cause for the next leg down, which I think it is. If that next leg down starts, folks, <laughs> after July 5th, that's going to be a whole nother heads up for people. Because when you have bear market rallies, that's what this would be considered. They are always very strong rallies. Okay. Strong, I mean, so this week, I mean, look what the S&P did this week. I mean, they, they're, they're very, very strong rallies. I mean, uh, but the bottom line is that what people forget about is that how fast we've gone down. So like they the, suck you in. Yeah. Like, just take all your money. <laughs> exactly. Because when you look at this right here, you can see that uh, we just went from uh, 3,000, uh, what is that, 600 to 3,891. It's a big move. Stay right there, folks. Best and I come right back. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that we'll even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of tfnn.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, best of Behuli, Tom O'Brien. We do appreciate your growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials right now up 720, Nasdaq's up 305, S&Ps are up 99. And so, uh, you know, as we talk real estate, folks, on a Friday afternoon, this is going to get really intriguing because, you know, this is a wild card, the aspect of what is going to happen with the large funds that have so many properties, right? Yeah. Well, one of the... the Premier operators, I, I, this guy, I, I watch what this guy does. I think this guy is actually brilliant. Uh, it's Barry Stanlock. Uh, he is the CEO of uh, Starwood Capital. Um, the bottom line is that he's looking to sell two portfolios of single-family housing. 
uh, unloading 3,000 properties. Yeah. 3,000 properties, okay? That's a lot of uh, real estate. Well, the thing that's so intriguing about this is that, you know, this is in a fund. Yeah. They get paid good bread in a fund. And it's like, okay, so is that saying that the rents are going to go down? Or, or what is he thinking? That's yeah. what he's trying to look. Yeah. And, and the thing that's intriguing about this, folks, is this. Um, you know, it says that he's working with advisors on the potential sale, each which is expected to fetch uh, approximately $500 million. Um, the thing that is intriguing about this, okay, is that only in May, okay, we are in June now, uh, he told Bloomberg that he roughly owned 15,000 uh, single families, 10,000 apartments, and he was arguing that the mortgage rates would create more demand for rental housing. So that's pretty slick, man. Yeah. That'd be like saying, oh, yeah, no, no, it's going to be more demand. Well, if there's more demand, why would you sell it? Yeah, yeah. That's, so well, you can see, you know, the bottom line is that uh, still the current sales comes uh, during a precarious time in the housing market, there's no doubt. So we'll see who steps into this. That, that's what it really comes down to. Um, Who's going to buy these, huh? And the, w one of the other, Tricon Residential, which is huge too, uh, he actually told investors just the opposite in May that his portfolio, uh, or their portfolio, was actually down 10% from the peak. Oh, really? Yeah. So what happens here is this, folks, is that the, one of the main reasons that these guys can actually make so much money immediately on the rental aspect of it is that they're leveraged to the yin yang. I see. But, you know, it's Wall Street bread. So that first they get Wall Street bread inside it. Then on top of that, they put the leverage on it. Okay. So it's a big number. Yeah. Um, now, Best and I happen to know um, a couple. Well, this is one. Um, it's a large company for sure, and he's all over Pinellas County. Yeah. Um, and he's into Section 8 housing. And he's pushing them off left and right. Yeah, every, yeah. every week we see two or three coming on the market. Right. So, right. you know, this is gonna, probably going to be an extra 100 single family homes out here. <clears throat> Easy, because when we were buying in 2010, 2011, this guy was definitely a competitor. Yeah. Uh, he was in a different market than me basically and i obviously wish i was in his market at that yeah. point yeah. <laughs> okay good uh but the bottom line he definitely knows what he's doing he was buying like crazy uh and now he's selling like crazy which, yeah. you know and that just says that 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 type of experience is like okay the role is here man do you know what i mean yeah i mean at the price he bought him and what he's going to get oh now, my god it's, it's, it's pretty, pretty yeah. crazy yeah uh, it is yeah yeah, we, we know his properties. Yeah, they, they're slums properties. Folks. Yeah, That's he, the didn't, bottom line. he didn't do anything to them. He right. just collected the rents, poor people that are living in them. Uh, it's going to be good for St. Pete, though. That's the bottom line. Because what ends up happening is that uh, even if you were, a, a, you know, a, in the business and you're a flipper, that's who's going to get most of these, and it'll it'll, it'll loosen up a bit. Yeah, definitely it, it's going to loosen up, and yeah. uh, even the Section Eight, uh, you know, people. Right, they can still get better properties. You know? Yeah, or they fix they, them up and exactly. You know, no, there's, you know, there's these no, guys just let them. Yeah, go all the way down. So, right, uh, we're starting to see a lot of that around here too. Right. Yeah, and we're we're seeing builders now too. Right, that are selling their properties. Yeah, now that's new, folks. And, yeah. and this these are builders that actually were trying to buy off us when I was selling some lots. Yeah. But then they always, they, they, they never went through, huh? No, it didn't go through for some reason. But yeah. uh, He was probably on the edge then, too. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I think that was last year. Yeah, it was. Yeah, so was. now we're seeing uh, them sell their properties. Yeah. So I wonder why. Well, that says quite <laughs> a bit. Because there's such a difference, uh, you know, I, I can tell you, folks, from being, from doing over houses versus building new houses. First, uh, building new houses is so easy, it's insane. That's not easy, but compared to, Basically, you know, ripping the houses apart. I probably ripped up about 50 houses apart between 2012 to 2014. Yeah. I mean, and then as soon as things were getting better, I started building new houses. And the cool thing with new houses, you always know what you have. With, with, with taking them apart, man, yeah. is a whole different ball game because you don't, you know, you know, you know most things, but you know what? Something you just never know what's underneath. You race. don't know, um, man. You don't know. I mean, you did a great job with all of them. So yeah, but 
you know, a couple of them were challenging for sure. Were tough, huh? yeah, yeah, compared to building from scratch. It's, yeah, compared to building from scratch. Yeah. And, the, you know, if it, when you're building from scratch, folks, one of the, it's the very beginning of the process, the foundation, the walls that are the most crucial, making sure that, you know, everything's straight. I mean, straight beyond yeah. belief. I mean, you know, because yeah. then when you put the windows in, everything's straight, no problem. You put the roofs on, you put the trusses in, you know, the, uh, the doors, and, yeah. the doors, <laughs> the whole ball of wax. You find out pretty quick, man, um, you know, how good your foundation guy is. Because what ends up happening, folks, is that, yeah, you, you know, your prints are always correct. I mean, they're supposed to be correct anyway. You know, but yeah. the, the, and then the question is, is that, you know, the folks that are coming out, you know, how good are they at their trade? And that's where you're just going to be there continually until uh, always, that pot is on. Always check on it. Huh? So yeah. you put the roof on and then... Then, then you're good. Then, then most of the time you're pretty good. You know? they, they move pretty fast, huh? We're, these ones were moving fast, man. There's yeah. no doubt. It's just like I said, though, I, the, you know, I suspect that they're slowing down. There. What, is, what is still happening is that they're claiming they're not because, of course, I get some bids out for, you know, a couple more. You know, it's always like, no, 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 we're not slowing down. <laughs> we'll be there, but yeah, we're not slowing down. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> How many crews do you need? Yeah, yeah, right. No, no, I know. It's, yeah, well, you know, what we noticed, too, is with uh, photographers. Yes. You know, we were talking about that the other day. Oh, this is, wait, tell them this. This is, a, this is great. This is a real tell. Yeah, so now, now that we know that there's a lot more listings coming up, right. these photographers are a lot busier, too. Right. So it's just taking a lot longer to get out there and take the pictures and, you know, bring them back right. to you. Now, isn't that cool, folks, for the opposite effect, meaning that the photographers are getting busier because of the fact that there's more listings? Yeah. But it's pretty cool, man. Yeah, no, it's that whole, you got to start marketing again and, you yep. know, staging and... Yeah, because you staged that, that's right. He, has, he staged one uh, this week, the same one that... Uh, you didn't need to do that a few years ago, right? No, Just no. But remember, pop the, it up the, and, I staged them, what, five years ago? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. And that's when it was hard to sell a house, man. Yeah. You know, <laughs> even though the economy was good. It, yeah, was, it was different. We knew. It's like... You remember, really I, have to you know, hard. I used to keep saying to him, folks, we would hear, like, I mean... The type of market that the whole United States had, you know, like Boston, a few places had, you know, like for the last seven years, okay? We only had no inspection, cash. I mean, that, that's only been with us for a year. Yeah. You know what I mean? It was, it, the leg was big. You know Apparently what I mean? Apparently, that's how LA was, too. Yeah. For like years and right. years. And right. finally came here, so... Here we are. I mean, well, I guess this house, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's still happening, but... 2.65 million. It's a pretty good deal. <laughs> Stay right there, folks. Best of nine coming right back. We have the Dow. Dow's up 728. Nasdaq's up 304. SP's up 100. Come right back. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay Area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LLC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. 
You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now up 744. The Nasdaq's up 309. S&Ps are up 102. And we know we checked the uh, volumes on the uh, ETF structures. Let's just go into the NDX, I mean the uh, major indices, and take a look. So what you have here, you get 674 um, in the Dow Industrials right now. That's 1.1 yesterday. This is going to, well, we'll see. If we get, it might be able to make 1.1. It's going to be close, man. That's going to be a close call. What we did have yesterday was yeah, we got volume in the NASDAQ composite. Um, you can see that 5.2. Uh, look at that, though. That's going to be a contraction. That says quite a bit. When, when you're watching this market, folks, you definitely want to keep your eye on the NDX as well as the composite. Um, you know, because you can see that's, that's a contraction of volume. And, you know, if we go take a look at this composite for a second, what you're going to see is that the, you know, the, the bottom of that gap is 11,751. That's a couple hundred points higher than we are right at this particular point. Um, and I expect that, you know, you, you're going to go there. Um, you know, we had a question earlier. Uh, this is a great question, too, by the way, about, okay, um, oops, wrong, wrong one. Thank you. I was going to go over this one. And what the question was is that it, it didn't seem like there was three gaps down. Um, when you take a look at the market, what you're going to see is that there were three gra gaps down. Uh, the difference is, is that you popped higher and then you, I'll just show you. So you had the first gap here that was uh, established, uh, what, what's that date there? I guess it down the very bottom. Uh, that's uh, the, the June, 9th. June 9th. yeah. And then the second one was on June 10th. Um, and then what you did, you popped up and the third one was on the 15th. 15th. Yeah. That's, that's how that works. That, those, that's, that, that's how basically you see that a lot, you know, and when you do get three gaps. I was talk, talking to the audience a little bit earlier, Bestwood. And normally the, the way that the gaps go, that's where the trend is. And then what ends up happening is that it likes to go back up, fill them, and then go right back downtown. I'll go right back to where the first gaps were. Let's go to Keith in Cedar Rapids. Hey, Keith, what's going on? Hey, Tommy, are you talking about filling that gap all the way to 107? On, on, the, on the BYM? BYM? The uh, Victor Yellow Mary. BlackRock Municipal Income, is that what you're saying? Oh, no, sorry, it's uh, Vanguard High Dividend Yield. Oh, okay, v VYM, let's see. Yeah. Okay, I see what you're looking at. That's interesting. Yeah, you're at 103. So let's just see what this is. Are you in this, Keith? Yeah? I, yeah, I am. And I was kind of holding on for that bounce, and I was thinking uh, yeah. maybe 104, 105, I, uh, you know, make an exit. Uh, but then I was listening to your uh, gap analysis. Yeah, right. No, I'm with you. So this is how you should play this, right? 
Yeah, I think he, you might have a shot at getting it, man. And, and you got to get out, man, as fast as you can. Because um, right. this wants to go a lot lower. But because what happens, yeah, the 108 is game, man. I mean, what I would do every day on something like this, you know, you, you basically take a look at where it is this morning, like right now. Like say we're trading right now. You get up in the morning, you can see right off the bat, you know, this thing went higher, you know, right at the get-go. And then you can put your stop under there and just, you know, every day, that's what I would do. Because what has happened is this, folks, okay? Let me just, VY, let me just, I want to see what part of the bond market this is in. High income. That's the wrong go. Uh, it's a, it's oh. a dividend, equity dividend. Yeah. That what has taken place, however, I just wanted to see, Okay. Yeah, high definite yield, man. You got to get out of the stock. Okay, so this this is the reason, right? So watch this. Let me let me pull this up here for a second. So we pull up the holdings, and you know, oh, this is nice hold. This is oh, this is interesting. Oh, these are good stocks. Oh, this is a, so this is okay. So what's always intriguing is this. This may be high yield, but I can guarantee you that, you know, these equities in here, Johnson Johnson, Exxon, J.P. Morgan, Procter Gamble, Chevron, they're not paying high yield, man. So um, I don't quite understand. Well, no, I, I understand it because they, they mismark ETFs all the time. So, mm -hmm. yeah, I would wait till that gets there. So what, what I was going to say, Keith, is this. What has happened, folks, that no one has heard about really, because it's not hitting the news, is that the high yield bond market is frozen. It's frozen. They, they, this is the first time uh, since 2010 uh, they haven't pushed out a deal all week. You know, but Keith, what I'm, what I'm specifically saying, you know, I know that's marked high yield, but, you know, those companies don't, they, they're not high yield they're not paying high yields, man. So I'm not. There's a disconnect, but it's good. It's thank God yeah, that that equity, those equities are in that fund because right. you know that right. it's it's locked. The market's locked, man. And you know when markets lock like that, what ends up happening is going forward is that f companies that have been in the high yield market, meaning much smaller companies than the Home Depots and J.P. Morgans. They have to turn it over. When they turn it over, when it's locked, that's when defaults come into play. You know, because it's just like, right. it'll be like someone refinancing. And right. then they can't refinance because the market is locked. Meaning that the folks that buy this high yield and, and high yield, I suspect that high yield there is probably, you know, 5 or 6% they're saying, whatever. High, real high yield is 12 to 14%, you know. But yeah, I, I think you're, you know, in pretty good shape here that, uh, you know, there's going to be enough um, happiness, let's put it that way. I think going into July 4th, they'll be able to get out of that position, man. And I would get out mm -hmm. of it. Um, I, I, I hear you. I appreciate that. Any chance I can ask you one more? Oh, yeah. WP Carry. WPC. WPC. Okay, let's take a look at this. Okay, operates a global net lease REIT. Okay. Let's see, diversified. Let's see what they have. Okay, so the company owns more than a thousand properties, U.S. and Europe, manages properties, uh, leases them back to sell occupants. Oh, this is kind of cool. Okay, so this is a REIT, folks, okay, but this is what they do. The, the, the REIT buys a property and leases it back to large companies. Now, what happens, folks, this is really cool because accounting-wise, right, what happens a public company, folks, this is, public companies love doing this because on their books, what ends up happening is that the, when you own a property, your balance sheet looks much weaker than, it actually is, than leasing about, yes, but it, it doesn't, all is the, you know, the folks that are buying your equity care about is that, you know, bottom line is that what's the balance sheet look like? So when you look at this, Keith, yeah, it stay right here, man. You know, this is a this is a different type of read. Meaning, let's say you and I, Keith, had a big business. We'd go mm -hmm. to these guys and say, hey, I want to buy this building. They buy the building. We do the lease back. 
they get a lot of cash going forward. Do you know what I'm saying? So, got it. Yeah. yeah got Cooking, it. brother. Thank you, man. Have a great one, man. Have a safe one. Stay right there, folks. Best for the night. Coming right back. We are going to end the week green. Everyone's going to be happy. It's a beautiful thing. We're ready for a good weekend. Oh, yeah. That's right. Dow Industrial's up 740. NASDAQ up 327. S&P's up 104. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, look at the run. They're running right into the close, man. This is going up and up, huh? Up and up. You got the Dow Industrials right now up 791. NASDAQ is up 347. S&P's up 110. And we have some Tigers um, talking about the... So Larry Pesavento has um, a couple planetary guys on. And these these are important turns, folks, okay? The next turn, when uh, Norm Winsky was on, folks, uh, just to give you guys a heads up, was uh, the 27th of uh, June. You know, today's the 24th. Um, 27th, 28th. That's how this is shaking out. Uh, thanks, Ray, uh, for putting that in the Tiger's Den. Appreciate it. Um, so wh what happens there is that people trade on this. Do you know what I mean? So what's going to be intriguing is that I'm talking about the three-gap play. So that's something that I'm also going to be watching, meaning what's happening that day as that market is heading into, um, you know, higher price. Because um, that's where it looks like we're going to be uh, basically laying out here. Mm -hmm. So people trade based on where the planets are? On big moves like this, it's very unusual that when you have uh, five planets 
and the moon and the sky simultaneously. You know, it's a confluence. So picture you have the universe, you had everything going around. And what ends up happening, when these planets are too close to each other, you get big moves, man. You just, pick, just picture, we know the move and the aspect of uh, the, the tides just with the moon. I see. We don't know the full implications of the planets, but the bottom line is that I've looked at it long enough that they are, there are turns. And when there's that many together, which is very hard to, you know, to do, they, they do them. Um, you, so how do you know which turn is going to go up or down? You don't. You don't. The way it works is that if you're going up into it, you're probably going to go down. If you go down into it, you're going to go up. Isn't that well? <laughs> Just so much. You to ready for that? All this you, you want you want some hocus pocus? Should we get a Ouija, <laughs> should we get a Ouija board, man? <laughs> I'm only kidding, folks, because that the planetary setup is important to look at, big time. Listen, we, you know, I say the best of yesterday. We're only particles put together. I mean, we yeah. should be able to go right through you. Go, go right, right through you. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's we're particles, man. Always remember, folks, the man can call your heart out, the bull can run you over. Have a great weekend, safe weekend. Come back and visit Tommy Monday morning. Kicks us off, 9 o'clock in the morning. Great show, folks. Yeah, we'll get him, folks. <laughs>